Hey, hey, welcome to episode eight of SpaceX in the News. Today, we're gonna talk about two things, the Starhopper and the Crew Dragon. Let's get into it. Okay, so since my last video, the workers over at SpaceX and Boca Chica have really been working hard on that Starhopper. You can see some aerial footage here from a news station in Boca Chica, where SpaceX is diligently working on connecting these huge parts of the Starhopper. Some people have been stopping by, parking their cars and snapping pictures from outside the property line, sharing them online. And, and uh, a lot of people are quick to point out that the actual skin of the, of the hopper does not look nice at all. It looks really bumpy. It looks dented. It looks uneven color wise. The lower portion is kind of dull while the upper portion is kind of mirror and reflected. So it caused a lot of questions and speculations. You know, is this thing really going to be what's going to fly? Is it going to be a flying garbage can? You know, even though originally Elon tweeted out, like I said in my last video, that this is gonna be what's going to fly, there were still two camps of, of people saying, yes, this is going to fly, we believe him. And there was the other camp of saying, no, this has to be kind of like a, a rough prototype boilerplate kind of thing. But I do think that everybody was in agreement that this thing is coming together really quick. You know, and it seemed only to make things worse when they started adding the three engines to the bottom of the hopper. You know, one minute they weren't there and the next minute they were. So a lot of people were like, these can't be actual engines. They just quickly installed. I mean, you would think this would take some time. Also, I noted on the SpaceX Facebook page that how can these be the newly redesigned Raptor engines when they haven't even been tested yet? So yes, for days and days and days, a lot of back and forth, a lot of confusion going on. What exactly is happening here? Nobody even seemed to know. Not even, you know, the really smart people like Scott Manley knew what was going on exactly. But lo and behold, our savior, Elon Musk, came to Twitter this morning to kind of clarify some things for us. Retweeting a picture of a star hopper that Cowboy Dan took this morning confirming that it is in fact the vehicle that's going to be flight tested. And to clear up some more information on those three engines that weren't even tested yet, Elon said that those engines that they installed are actually a blend of Raptor development and operational parts. You know, it's, it's really awesome and cool of him to share this information with all of his followers, even though he doesn't have to. But then he went above and beyond and actually tweeted out a picture of what the Starhopper will look like after it's completed. You know, it looks a lot sleeker than what we're seeing being built out in the field. I guess we just gotta have some faith that this thing won't have dents in it when it comes time for liftoff. Which, by the way, was originally scheduled for March, April of this year, which was a huge bump up from the end of the year. But now it looks like Elon's saying we're looking at February or March. So that's awesome. But the conference or whatever he said he was gonna have after the hopper test, you know, to give us more information on the Starship Super Heavy, uh, it still looks like that's gonna be a few months out. So we're still looking at about April for that time, probably. And other news concerning the Crew Dragon, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna launch on my birthday. It was supposed to launch January 17th, but because of the government shutdown, it looks like they're gonna postpone it a little bit longer. Now we're looking at early February, which you know, it is what it is. SpaceX did release some pretty sweet photos of the Falcon 9 going vertical with Crew Dragon on top. You see that pretty sweet looking walkway they installed on Pad 39A a few months back. So unlike the Dragon that takes supplies to the International Space Station that actually has solar panels deploy out, the Crew Dragon's trunk is actually half covered with these solar panels. So that's pretty cool. So this is a test flight for the Crew Dragon, but it is going to the International Space Station. At least that's the plan. Thank you so much for watching this episode, you guys. When I get more information here in the next few weeks, I'll be sure to post another video. Until that time, God bless you. Stay righteous.